Superman's pal Jimmy Olsen issue 11 finds Jimmy head to space, meeting with Lord Hanya, the Arbiter Supreme of Scrub, telling him and his gathered people that he has come to ask a favour of his friendly aliens, since he's been done a great injustice and calls on his mightiest allies for help. He tells the gathered aliens about how a warlord wishes his wife Jix's hand in marriage, despite Jimmy already marrying her first. He knows there are no takebacks and the Arbiter agrees with him, knowing it's all fair to call no takebacks takebacks, wondering if the man crossed his fingers or yelled no backsies. Jimmy says that no backsies was laid out in the marital contracts between the two and because of that, the Arbiter says that the second suitor has no claim to Jix's hand in marriage. Therefore, they will come to Jimmy's aid and fight the warlord on behalf of him. Back on Earth, Porcadillo is questioned by detectives who want to know who wanted Jimmy Olsen killed. Paul tells the detectives his story but the detectives still seek clarity, not knowing if any of this evidence will actually stick. Corrigan wants to know if they can do anything, but the detectives know tailing Julian Olson or going after Lex Luthor isn't really an option. James collects Porcadillo as he knows they are wasting their time, leaving as the detectives call someone, telling their boss they have a problem. Janie and the Ellers meanwhile continue making soaps, salves, and creams to cause the Warlord's robots to slip on, but soon they run out of everything as the Warlord continues to call for Jix, saying that he shall marry her, then kill her, then marry her her again because she infuriates him so. Dr. Mantel, however, finishes up on his Olsonogram, a tracking device that shows Jimmy is somehow in Metropolis. Surprised the man seemingly went back home. Janie wonders if it could just be Julian and not Jimmy, but Mantel says that the tracker allows for the genomes of every known Olsen on Earth, and the odds of another having the exact same genotype match from a non-relative is astronomically absurd, and he would stake his reputation on it being right. As if on cue, Jimmy appears behind the Doctor with the army from Scrub. Jimmy tells him that he had a little backup as the Arbiter introduces himself to the people, saying that he is there to fight a foe that fights unfairly. Jimmy knows that they are all good at their jobs since the Scrubs almost beat Muhammad Ali once, telling the others that they can stand clear as an old friend is coming in as Metamorpho arrives, smashing into Jimmy and becoming a living armour for the man as he joins the Arbiter in the battle against the Warlord and his Automaterras. All of Jimmy's friends, from the fan club to the cyborg Jimmy to the armed fall-off boy family join the battle as Jimmy knows that these friends came without reservation because they are pals and that's what pals do for pals. And while this isn't a crisis crisis, it's more of a maxi series of gags and throwaway characters rising up en masse to help out their pal Jimmy Olsen. In the thick of battle, the warlord calls Jimmy out, demanding Olsen fight him one on one. Jix tells Jimmy not to go face the monster, but Jimmy reassures her he's got this, walking out to face him, as the warlord wants to know if Jimmy accepts his challenge. Jimmy says he doesn't since death is for suckers and Jix can make her own decisions, sicking his entire army on the Warlord. Everyone comes to congratulate Jimmy for his win as Jix kisses him, saying she's proud to be his wife. That reminds Jimmy who produces an annulment for their wedding, meaning she no longer is Mrs. Jimmy Olsen. Jix kisses him again however, saying that she's still proud to be his ex-wife. Jimmy knows that all that's left now to do is to clean up the mess they've made of Elmond, but at least that's what friends are for. Elsewhere, Julian meets with Lex, who knows the man has bankrupted his family and thanks to the phone call he just received, he paid to have his brother killed, something which Julian cannot deny despite his best efforts. Lex tells him to shut up since of all the Olsons, he's the most tiring. He gives the man a small statue of the Monument of Metropolis, saying this is the moment where he wins and Julian knows it. Handing the statue over, Luther gets out his phone, taking a picture of Julian, telling the man to smile. Jimmy meanwhile packs up his things as Jix asks where his absurd lifestyle will take him next, but Jimmy knows it's a big universe, but he knows he's heading back to Metropolis. Dr. Mantel comes to see him, revealing the ulcimeter and how it's picking up someone of his genotype in Metropolis. He knows it's not the assassination decoy since that was destroyed, and as Jimmy wonders if he could go see what it is, Janie reminds him that someone is trying to kill him, and the whole reason they left Metropolis and went through Gotham City, Opal City, Outer Space, and now Elmond was because of that. Jimmy knows this whole odyssey he's been on has taught him that he keeps repeating certain patterns, so either he chases down the weirdness or it chases him down. He knows their future is Metropolis as Detective Jones calls into Luther 
telling him about Julian Olsen putting out a hit on his brother. Lex says that he will take it under advisement as he meets with Julian, cutting the detective off. The detective turns around and bumps into someone, threatening to arrest them for assaulting a police officer before realizing it's Superman, who wants to know everything the detective has on the Ulthal Luther situation. Superman's pal Jimmy Olsen issue 11 continues to build the wonderful revelations from last issue as Jimmy goes to war to finally end the alien warlord's mission to get his wife's hand in marriage. I know I've said it before, but I love how the book is set out with small vignettes, switching between our quite rather large cast of characters and filling in the blanks to the story as we go along, like we get stuff from the Porcadillo who has become one of my favourite characters since appearing in this book, a character I never really even knew existed before this. It's a real unique and creative way to tell a story and I love the book for doing it. Jimmy getting involved in a big battle was lots of fun to see and his rather meta commentary about all of this series, this whole maxi series, all equating to like his own version of a crisis event was quite wonderful and with Superman getting involved there at the end, I'm very much looking forward to the final issue. I'm going to give this issue a 10 out of 10.